What's up, YouTube? Back at you again with another mini deck tech. We've already seen this deck before. I'm trying some different things today. Uh, I'm going to stop hedging my bets against uh, Zoro and just go back to Law. It's funny, too, because I always thought this was kind of me. You know, it's whatever. But there was actually an interaction over my last local where I top six. Or I could have won the game this way. <laughs> So we're going to try it again. Uh, I also took out my round table, my signature round table. Love that card. Uh, we're going to go for a, a third pistol just for consistency. Uh, the trigger is not bad and, you know, Tama pistol is great. I'm going to lose that little bit of like, you know, cute stuff that I had with Robin where I can neg 10,000 a kid, uh, pop a blocker, swing into the kid where he's negative two for five. Like I'm going to miss some th stuff like that, uh, but today we're just going to try it out. Uh, actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take out one of our awesome Radical Beams. That's something else I'm known for. And I'm going to add that fourth beige. And we're going to try it like this today, guys. Alright. Let's see if I can get ourselves a game. Alright, we got our game into green. Uh, this isn't terrible. We're on the draw, though. I'm gonna try it out. Uh, there's no there's no card advantage here, but I'm gonna try it out. I always like to try out weird hands. Like let's say if I mulligan, this is the hand I got. I I, I have to try it, right? So, also want to say happy holidays, y'all. Uh, I won't be streaming for the next couple of days. I'm also not gonna be able to put out any videos. Uh, maybe I'll schedule some to release on Christmas Day for you guys. But uh, that's that. I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday. Enjoy. Enjoy that time with the families. That sucks. Uh, do you go for the value now? He does. He draws Hawkins. Right. Uh, so let's swing five. these two yeah so i have a uh, two locals scheduled for tomorrow <laughs> uh one's gonna be a case tournament and i really really want to go but also i had a dinner scheduled uh, my friends wanted to take me out and i'm like sheesh i want to but i want to play games <laughs> all right guys so i can high roll here and try and get a jet pistol because this is going to be a real pain in my ass. And we whiff. Uh, but I can go double one drop, save the Bonnie. Unfortunate. Um, Bounce the choppy, play the law, use card action, bounce her. Um, play the brook, attach two. It's fine. I gotta do some damage, right? So I got the shields up. Uh, Robin answers any of the blockers he has. Uh, if he swings with this, I, I just take it. Unfortunately. None of our answers. That sucks. <laughs> wow, that makes my life a lot harder, guys. Mm. I could go double block. He attaches one, swings. Then I have to block with law. And then I have no, I'm not checking my hand to protect her. Oy vey. Um, screw it. Uh, let her, let her die. Yeah, so Okiku and this card can really make the matchup very annoying for us. Let 
go digging with our Bonnie next turn. Momo. <laughs> Gets another Cat Viper. What a guy. So we can go here. Center killer. Whatever. That changes the math slightly. Um, but before that. Try and take a counter out of his hand since we haven't seen much of anything. That's a 2k. And pass. So he goes simple Hawkins, kill the Bonnie, pass. He also has third Cat Viper, or did he. You got it. It's like a nuclear warhead. <laughs> That's what this is. It's like deterrence. So he doesn't even have to swing with this for this to be a threat. But of course, like I said, he had the third Viper. Alright. Uh, fuck, I could have blocked that. 
I was always still the chopper block. Uh, he could only pump this up to nine, and I just radical beam out. That was misplayed. See if I can get him to commit it. I have to get this off the board, guys. If his last two cards are 2k counter, you got it, brother. Okay. <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, if he resolves 8 cost kid, I just have to protect Luffy at all costs. Um, yeah, we're okay right now. Sheesh. I had to do a little bait and switch there. <laughs> Alright, so he plays 8 cost kid. If he's smart... Uh, none of these do anything, so I'd just do that. We would have to attach two to Cat Viper and then try to swing. So I'm just expecting this and then attach one and one. Uh, with no cards, I just have to attach four to Luffy. Kill this. Yeah. Um... Whittle down these defenses. All right, I'm not giving him any more cards. That's it. So I can go two, swing seven. I mean, you, you know I have Luffy, so you have to be careful on life. Yeah, it's worth blocking there. Guys, this is one of our best matchups for a reason. <laughs> Digging, I'm not too worried. Okiku doesn't do much. Fourth Cat Viper, though. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Fourth Cat Viper lets him uh, attempt to clear board here. So you can swing Cat Viper, Chopper. Can't do nothing about that. And then you could attach three... Swing eight. And then discard a card, swing there. No 
nothing I can do about that. And then activate kit effect. I mean, this isn't, this is him trying to stabilize. Ooh, this guy's a 2k, so I'm assuming this is like another Hawkins or a 7 drop kit or something like that. Like a, a big boy. get our own um, four Neko Mamushi is was really good <laughs> oh wait okay I hate that it does that it's so annoying value I'm actually gonna take beach here get rid of this play this beige activate leader bounce here play Luffy attack here okay even if he all in swung now uh, I don't have much to worry about. That's just game though. Grindy match. Grindy match for sure. Finally saw a pistol. And we put it all on black, baby. GG. Alright, that was a good game against green. I'm gonna try and get another color. Alright, game two is into blue. He's going first. I could double one drop. Drop this. Uh, the problem with the sand into blue is we have no, no value cards. It's a little better. Corona. Uh, if I could go double one drop off the straw here, that'd be really big. Which is also why I added the fourth base, just to increase that consistency on the draw. Uh, I mean, there's not, it's like a point percent difference between 19 and 20, so, but I'm hoping that we do, and I do hit. So, we double one drop here, pass. Actually, 2-0 yesterday against two blue decks in a row. I'm taking this 100,000%. Otama would be real nice. Uh, generally, I always take this first life here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, also, because I'm playing Radical Beam, not a big deal. Uh, little Brook here. Uh, next turn, I don't really have much to shambles into. I could activate her, play one drop. So we're going to go all in and clear this. It would cost them too many cards to try and defend. So this is dead. So I'm still adding to board. He has to attach two more Dawn, activate effect. That only leaves him two Dawn left. So nothing to worry about. Again, my life is a resource. I don't, I've won so many games I can't even count at this point at zero or one life. Um, it really doesn't matter, especially against this deck. Does it again. If I block here, I can go next turn I have six, so two, four, six, but then I can't activate. Uh, so again, we'll take no trigger. Exactly what we wanted to see though. Cool, cool. Uh, so we'll do this. This is 
pretty good, but he's going into his 7 Dawn turn, so maybe Luffy's just better. Um, so like I said, we'll go double 1. I mean, I could Perona here, actually. I mean, kill the Perona. Uh, but I'm going to save that for, like, his Doflamingo blocker, actually. So, we're going to keep going with what I have. Um, go like this. Activate, bounce, play law, use card action, bounce. Uh, we will play here. And I'll try and take two cards from his hand. Yeah. It's fine. Next turn we have a block of a Luffy. Um, he swings, I'm going to trump this time. Swings for the draw. He will block in a 1k. Ramen kind of doesn't do anything right now. Only really helpful if I have Otama. If he like dons up and swings here, I just trump like I said. Regardless, one of these choppers are blocking. To love, love. So he blind flipped. Didn't remember what he had. That was a waste of a dawn. Chump. This is what I mean. Like when you're playing blue, like you really have to keep track of what you you what you're doing there. That could have been another four drop that he could have played there. Um. So we go. Six, five, I can go like that. So we'll deploy. Yeah. Attach one, attack for seven. Let's see if I can pull two more cards again. Nope. Uh, we'll just swing here. I'm gonna bounce this anyway. Uh, Namal Shambles, bounce the brook, play this, attack for seven, pass. I'm sitting pretty healthy. This is generally how it goes. The only other thing I could do that would be like really, really cool or like beneficial is slamming kid. Kid would hurt a lot. <laughs> He's top decking. I'm assuming, I mean, no Mihawk there kind of sucks for him. I'm really going to put the, uh, the heat on him next turn, though. Gets a 2k. Yeah, I guess the 2k counter. Uh, against that, uh, just 2k out. He has no rush type effects, so nothing he does at this point matters. All he could do now is just play another blocker. Uh, ideally, like one drop blocker and then hold up Love Love Beam. Opponent's sitting on quite a few cards. Could have Desert Spada. Maybe that's why he held up three instead of... Well, I mean, he, he might not have anything else to do with it. Just want to pull the counters now. Two for ones. Yeah. Just 
so that I can get him to do it again. the level of beam for no value. my boys in the Queens area I uh, is apparently a viewer <laughs> uh, always bouncing ideas off of him for like a really good kid duck I think in the shop that I haven't played at the shop yet uh, that'll be my fifth store that I go to uh, I think it's the case tournament he has um, like apparently it's like a big Kaido meta I kind of want to hold this but next turn I can go like bam bam. Uh, this is Mihawk. This is all that is. I'll just take the damage. What a card. Bounce the blocker. It's just because he knows I have the, the kit, so now he's a little worried. <laughs> Uh, we'll just go seven. Yeah. He can have one-up Sables. If he had one-up Sables, or I, I don't know what other triggers he has. Spada? Oh, Spada's the trigger. Oh, Overheat. Ew. I'm gonna just freeze up a spot for me. Uh, I have 2k counters in hand. Uh, 9 attack. I'm sitting pretty good. He doesn't know the sauce that I have in my hand right now. <laughs> I got the secret sauce. Swings eight. Tries to get rid of a blocker. One K out. Plays another teach from hand. Yeah. Attaches two, then I still two K out with these guys. That's all he can hope for here. If he just swings nine, it's one card out of my hand. But yeah, like I said, we have it. This is why the matchup it's not so great for our opponent. I'm actually gonna ignore the shit out of it though. <laughs> uh, I have aggression and I'm gonna really put the kibosh on all the stuff that he's doing. The 
kabash. Uh, we'll get a trigger. I can take Zoro. I like that actually a lot. I can go. Attack face. He knows I have Luffy. He's already seen the card. So he is going to be a little worried about dropping below one. Or at one. Cool, cool. So now we just double blocker. This ability. Play law, use card action, bounce, play another blocker. Um, I could Otama pistol something later. Like if he slams Dofi next turn. Go ahead. Yeah. I might have too much pressure for my opponent to be able to try and play out of. Every time he has to suit up, it's no good for him. That's his big swing, so we'll block with Beige there. Like I said, guys, I can just keep ignoring everything else. I don't have to worry about this card. <laughs> uh, it's him that has to worry. And there it is. Uh, so we'll go seven. Play Specifisa is another counter out of his hand, so five cards. Good for me. Uh, Only one so far. One in a counter card. Five Dawn. Go to three. Oh, four actually. So hold on. Two to activate, one on kid. I have four to play with. Attack seven. Like I said, guys, he still has to worry about Luffy. So every hit he takes is no good. I'm expecting Dofi block here. Let's me take a let. Okay. Bounce. Two blocks. Yeah, we'll bounce. Just leave up the blockers. Bounce this. Uh, we'll actually take a poke at him here. So.
counters, blocks, and then just replace it. Yeah, he, there's just too many blockers. The kid, he's. I could ignore Mihawk. <laughs> this is why I always say, guys, like, green into blue isn't bad. Granted, I have other things that make this matchup a lot better for me. Um, just by nature of my ability to keep cheating and bouncing and cheating and searching. So I, I will say I have a much bigger advantage than my opponent does. Then like a green or mono green deck would go into blue, but I still think green is super favored because I've already showed you this already, guys. Like they just they can't do anything. <laughs> Once the shields are up and you can slam kid behind three blockers, which I think is a big mistake a lot of people make, is they just try and slam kid and like pray. Like with one blocker or even two sometimes. And hope it gets there. Uh, he has no valid attackers off of this. So we'll just go like that. And I get to attack five times plus this. I don't care about that. Uh, let's just swing like this. 2k. Swing like this. There's nothing he can do. I, I could give a damn about whatever he has in hand right now. Swing like this. Nice overheat. Bouncer blocker. <laughs> Something like this. Now you're gonna touch it on. Yeah, and that's that's how it just goes, guys. There's there's nothing you can do. All right, assuming this is OPO one, uh, I I still want to just like get matchup knowledge for this because this is one of our hardest matchups in the game. Um, it's super tough. They get to just aggress on you and it, it makes things really hard. Tropy. Uh, swing five. Takes. Play Robin, pass. Plays Zoro. Attaches one here. And then you can swing seven with this one. No, I take this one. No trigger. Um, because I have Cat Viper now, I will 2k out. I want to try and delay the bleeding as much as possible. <laughs> attach here we'll attack here pop this if I could take a card out of hand or get him to commit block and then pistol it that's just good for me Uh, he'll attach one swing here. And then he still has five Dawn to work with. Like I said, swings here. Dissolves. We're pretty much at parity here. That's up. And we're pretty good. Uh, we'll take Brook. Sure. Um, I'm 
and play this. Attack here. Okay. Uh, we'll attack. Takes. <laughs> sure, whatever. Um, then we'll play Chopper, play our own, our own Zoro, and attack. I shouldn't have played Chopper first if he was holding Red Hawk. A lot of these janky event decks. But. Uh, it just has 2k counter out. So yeah, we're doing a good job. Good job. Good job controlling this matchup is just uh, have to find law. Law is pretty big. I want to find that as soon as possible. Um, once we hit 10, I'm in a pretty bad spot if he's running Shanks, which I think he is. I think he's running the same list that I've seen online a billion times. We'll block. Assuming he plays Luffy. Swing seven. Well, we know we have none in life now, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we'll attack seven leader. I'm assuming he takes, because we're both in a really awkward spot of just not having anything to play. Where are my Bonnies and my Law? <laughs> Holy. Yeah. If I was opponent, I'd just go Shanks. I'm going to take. I need to see cards of some sort. Uh, only eight now. It's another Luffy. Yeah. Attaches two for unblockable. Doesn't. So I think we block there. Plays Robin. That's problematic. As fuck. Um... Blocks. Yeah. And seven, so we go pop there. Pop. If he has Otama, then it is what it is. Two cards. What are the odds he has another Luffy? <laughs> I mean, he could have other Zoro too. He only played one Zoro, two Luffy. Uh, we'll counter. I mean, if he does anything to this, I won't be able to stop it anyway, so. Just delay the bleeding as much as possible. Swing seven. Kill R Nami. Take, uh, use trigger, pop this, makes my life easier. I can put pressure on him now. If it's another, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you got it, Chief. Oh, there you are, right on time. Barto. Uh, uh, I don't have to do that. I just have to swing six. So, swing like this, pop that. Yeah, makes no sense. I swear, dude. <laughs> if he has, like, Luffy or Shanks in there as his, like, last two life, okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna do this first. Oh, you bay. I really need to find law, guys. <laughs> law. Please. Oh my god. Alright, we take base. Um. I don't want to give him any more cards. Oh, well. <laughs> Must be nice. Swing it, baby. You got it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that just happens. Aw, oh, you pussy. Give me my rematch, you fucking luck sack. <laughs> sometimes it just happens, guys. I mean, he could have also had Jambe if he was running it. I don't know if they do in those jank lists. Um, a lot of them like to play this like mid-range value game that doesn't really work against mid-range decks like green. Um, if you're playing into a red meta, I will say I can see the value of doing those things. So like, if you're playing mirror matches all day, I can definitely see uh, that. Um, but yeah. That's it, guys. That's our three games of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, enjoy your Christmas, your holiday, your time off, whatever it is for you guys. Peace.